news and we are in Las Vegas to show you the hottest, most innovative technology in the world. Let's go and check it out together. Next, we'll be talking to Neuromecca. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Michael Park. I'm in charge of the Neuromecca USA branch office. Awesome. And um, what kind of company is Neuromecca? Oh, Neuromecca is a manufacturing collaboratory robot. Mm -hmm. Mostly special, specially collaboratory robot arm we are ma making. And then this year, we are presenting Humanoid in the CES 2026. Wow, Humanoids. Um, what is the purpose of these Humanoids? Yeah, Humanoid, uh, this will work with the uh, together with the human being in the industrial, uh, the like a factory, mm -hmm. and then like this humanoid can, in the future, can substitute the human. Okay. That will work as the same with the human that has the AI recognition, vision uh -huh. capability, and then the collision compliance technology. Mm -hmm. Therefore, even though working with the human being together, the collision doesn't affect doesn't make damage to the human. Okay. Can you maybe show us how it works? Can we take a look? Yeah. The, for example, if the customer is requesting, hey, let's pick up the banana, mm -hmm. and then this human humanoid can recognize the voice, mm -hmm. and then the vision will inspect the object, and then we'll pick up banana, and then if we give the command, uh, let's pick up the sponge, and then this vision recognize the voice and then recognize the object and then pick up the object and then but at this moment the there are lots of noise here and then the yeah. wi-fi condition is not good therefore if we give the command and then the uh, the operator is texting and then this one is recognizing the object and then pick and place is happening so it combines a lot of different functions, like the voice recognition mm -hmm. and then recognizing... The, recognition. Yeah, okay, interesting. Yeah, we are expanding our capability with the more recognizing capability with the AI vision. Mm -hmm. Therefore, currently we are the, uh, training and then, but the, especially uh, in the future, this will recognize most of the things. And then the, Let's see what else yeah, we can see. Yeah. The zero shot picking, mm -hmm. the, that one is the combined with the AI vision. Even though this the vision is uh, watching the first uh, like uh, first uh, recognition, even though the, uh, the we never shown that one, and then but first recognition, this one can recognize the object. That one we are calling... Even if you haven't trained the ro robot on that specific object, it can recognize the object. Yes. And then they can distinguish between the trained object and then the first uh, uh, object, uh, vision object. Wow, that's really fascinating. Um, so when do you think this robot will um, become used in factories? Yeah, the, at this moment from last year, we uh, developed this one together with the R&D Center and University in Korea. But this, from this year, like uh, second half of this year, we are trying to release it, this to the industrial. Okay, so now it's getting really exciting for you guys probably. Yes, um, what will be the next steps? Our oh, next step, we have to introduce this one to the actual the industrial location yes. more further. And then the, we are more uh, like uh, optimizing over our collision, com uh, collision compliance technology. Mm -hmm. For example, if this is... Uh, yeah. He will show. In case of the conventional robot, if during the moving, if someone is a contact or a collision is happened, this is stopped and then alarm generated. But our collision compliance technology very smoothly is moving, even though with the external touch or collision. Therefore, we are optimizing this one more, and then eventually, if this is optimized, and then we can very 
uh, uh, we can release this one to the industry as a very smooth move, movement, like a human being. Yeah, the fascinating thing is also usually it's a uh, people say that when robots or humanoids take over, people will not be able to work anymore. But this robot can work alongside with people, right? Yeah. So uh, I heard the news. The some the factory. Uh, this kind of humanoid made damage to the human being, but our company is uh, trying to not do that kind of damage is happening to the human being and then working together between our humanoid and the yeah. human being. That's an amazing approach. That's great. Well, thank you so much for the interview and we hope to see you um, a lot more in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.